Good morning. Just while I get my shoes on here, um, just wanted to say that I'm teaching this class this morning and then I'm going to be muting myself for the rest of the day for Blackout Tuesday. I would have rescheduled this class, but I didn't know that Black Tuesday specifically, Blackout Tuesday was a thing until it was too late. So anyway, I do think it's important that we still find space to move for our mental and physical health, especially when we're going through a lot of challenges in the world like we are this year. So hopefully this class will help provide you with that. Well, once I get my shoes on and figure out where I've put my phone so I can share this playlist, we will get started. But honestly, oh, there it is. One second, one second. So I'm just going to go in and in the comments add a playlist for this morning and then we'll get going. So bear with me for a couple more seconds and I'm a little bit behind schedule because my computer crashed and I had to restart it before I could do this obviously. Um, let's see. Share. I know this is very anticlimactic, but I promise in <laughs> just one more second. <laughs> Comment. On the Spotify playlist, send. Hi, Shirley. Hi, Ardith. Hi, Patricia. Okay. Now, oh, I got to press play on this playlist. And get a little drink. All right, let's go. So we'll start with a march. I might have to readjust this camera a little bit, but we'll start right here. And we'll go to a heel dig. So heel and heel. Let's get that opposite arm doing a bicep curl. And then let's do both arms together. So as always, we really encourage you to have some music going on your end. I shared a playlist for Spotify. You can open a free Spotify account and listen to the playlist that I share or use your own music. The one thing about the playlist I share is they're always fitness music, so they have a constant beat. Let's take it to an overhead press. We press and press. And to the front. And we'll march. Let's glue down our heels and tap our toes. And march. Let's take it a little bit wider. And we'll add an overhead reach. So as we're warming up here, I've had some people asking how long these Tuesday morning low impact classes and Friday afternoon yoga classes will be continuing. And the answer is as long as the town of Kempfel wants them to continue. They are sponsored by the town of Kempfel. So they're free for you, but I am getting paid for them. That's why they have a little 
paid partnership thing on the post. Take it across the front. So we'll be continuing as long as they want to continue. It's wonderful that they have done it even as long as they have. Maybe we'll continue right through to fall, but only time will tell. I'm not sure. But the replays will stay here, so you'll always have access to those. Let's take it back up. Four, three, two, let's go into a step touch. So step together, step together. And into a hamstring curl. And to a knee lift, knee and knee. Four, three, two, let's march. We're going to take it up and back. Come up, two, three, back, two, three, and up, and back. This angle is really not complimentary. Goodness. I have to do a few camera adjustments. And march. Let's take it to a toe tap. So reach the foot out. Reach. We're going to finish our warm up. And then I am going to do a couple camera adjustments. Hi, Rose. Because <laughs> you've got too much ceiling, not enough floor. So. Need to fix that. Let's press the arms out. Four, three, two, march. Okay, we're gonna get a drink. This screen is gonna bounce around a little bit for the next minute or, well not full minute, sorry, crotch shot there as I adjust this camera angle a bit. That's better. That's better. Oh, if I still have a head. I'll have to see if I cut my head off now. Oh no, I still have a head. All right, much better. All right, we're going to glue down one foot. I want the opposite foot. We're going to step out to the side, shifting your weight and stepping back in. Trying to keep your toes all pointing forward. Rosie, oh goodness, keep going. I gotta move my water before she knocks it over. One more, and then we're gonna take it front and back. So you're gonna step forward, shifting your weight forward, step back, shifting your weight back.
Let's do two more. And then we're going to combine the two. So we'll come forward out to the side, back, and together. Hi, Rosie. Hi. Oh, what a big kitty. What a big kitty. You can't have that microphone. <laughs> it's extra weight training if you carry a kitty at the same time. One more time around, then I got to put this lug down. All right, Rosie, why don't you go right there? Then you're going to put your weight in that standing foot, and we'll tap front, side, back, together. Now I just put my water there so you wouldn't knock it over. If you want to go into a balance, you may. Try not to kick a kitty. One more time. And then we'll march. Oh my goodness. And then we're gonna glue down the other foot. I'm gonna move this again, I think. We're gonna glue down the other foot and we're gonna step out to the side, shifting our weight and stepping back in. One more, and then we're gonna take it front and back. So shifting our weight forward, shifting our weight back. One more time, and then we'll combine the two. Come forward, side, back, together. Now she's giving me the love eyes. I'm sorry, I can't snuggle with you right now. I'll turn back to the front. One more time around. And then weight goes in to the little standing foot and we'll tap. Front, side, back, together. And if you want to go into that balance, you may. Two more times around. There's a couple host flies in here. These cats 
let's march need to earn their keep i'm gonna have to get it with the fly swatter but i thought that was why i had cats is to kill flies disgraceful all right let's take a quick water break And a quick kitty break. Hi. There you go. Yes, you're so cute. You're so cute. Okay. Let's go to a step touch. So step together, step together. So what we're going to do is two single step touches, one double step touch. So we do single, single, then double. Single, single, then double. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Again, single, single, and double. Single, single, and double. Single, single, double. Have we got it? Single, single, double. Single, single, double. One more time. Then let's walk up and back right here. Up, two, three, and back. Again, up and back. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't 100% see, but I think that that was Pam that just said hi. Hi. <laughs> Again, up, two, three, and back. Up and back. Two more times. Last one. Single, single, double step touch. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Then walk up and back four times. Up, two, three, and back. Again. Two more. Last one. We're going to go into a heel jack. So you're going to do a heel dig with either arms out to the side, or you can do jumping jack arms. I'm gonna keep mine low because I'm gonna hit the ceiling fan. If you want to do a full jumping jack, you go for it. Because this is a low impact class, I'm not gonna demonstrate it, but we pretty much all know what a jumping jack looks like. Four, three, two, step touch, single, single, double, single, single, double. Again, double. Take it up and back. One, two, three. Back, two, three. Two more. Last one. Right into our heel jacks. Four three, two, knee lift. So knee and knee. So you can pull the arms down. You can do a little knee tap if you prefer. Four, three, two, step touch, single, single, double, single, single, double. One more time. Let's take it up and back. Heel jack. 
four, three, two, knee lifts for eight. Four, three, two, step touch, other side, single, single, double. Single, single, double. Up and back. One more time. Heel jack. Four, three, two, knee lifts. Four, three, two, single, single, double, step touch. Get ready. Up and back. Heel jack. Knee lift goes single, single, double. Step touch. Single, single, double. Bring it up and back. Heel jack four times. Knee lift, single, single, double. Step touch. Up and back. Heel jack. Knee lift, single, single, double. Step touch. Up and back. Heel jack. Knee lift, single, single, double. From the top, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Again, step touch. Step touch, single, single, double. Up and back. Heel jack. Knee lift. Double. Step touch. Up and back. Heel jack. Knee lift. One more time from the top. Step touch. Up and back. Heel jack. Rose says you're doing great. Knee lift. Step touch. Last time. Up and back. Heel jack. Knee lift. March. All right. Let's stop for a quick water break. I'm going to turn my ceiling fan on. And I think I'm going to uh, put my hair up. So you can probably hear a few weird sounds. Whew, that's better. That's better. Okay. So we're gonna go back to our heel dig. Our cardio portion is over. So we're gonna bring our heart rates back down a little bit. So opposite arm does a bicep curl. I want you to really think about that bicep. Squeeze it. Squeeze. Sue both arms together. Squeeze. Squeeze. I had an email conversation with somebody the last few weeks and they were talking about how they thought that they had weak ankles 
I told them they should check out this class because we purposely do a lot of exercises and work to make sure that we have strong ankles and that we're doing moves that help support us so that we are less likely to get an injury. Let's take this to an overhead press. So yes, this is a low impact class. This is what I normally teach for my seniors fitness classes, but really it's good for everybody because it is that preventative care. So it might not be that super intense workout that some people are used to, but you know, you're supposed to vary the intensities of your workout. So this is a good addition. Let's take it to a front press. So press, press. I want you to really pretend you're pressing something away. Activate those pectoral muscles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and march. All right, so we're all gonna need a little bit of wall space. So you may need to move yourself around a little bit. We're gonna do some wall push-ups. If you would prefer to do your push-ups from your countertop, kneeling push-ups or full push-ups, please go for it. I am gonna stick with the wall push-ups. So hands are a little bit wider than shoulder width at shoulder height. I'm gonna lower in and press out. So I'm not going all the way in. Maybe I'll move over here because those flowers, whoo, Rosie, are getting in my way. So if it feels natural for your heels to lift, then go ahead and let them lift. Do four more, three, two, one, and then we're going to come against the wall, bring our elbows up to shoulder level, and we're going to do our shoulder rotations. So I always am crooked here because I see myself on the computer monitor <laughs> and the screen is flipped. So I try to fix it and then I always fix the wrong one and then it gets worse instead of better. Rose, we're not going outside right now. No. So this is helping to open up through the shoulders, stretching the pectoral, also strengthening through the upper back. We're just gonna do a couple more. Last one. And relax. Let's do a few shoulder rolls. Let's go tell this kitty we'll go outside later. We can't right now. Sad stories of a host cat. All right, we're going to come back to the wall. We're going to do a leg lift. So you're going to lift your leg straight up to the side and lower. So if I turn this way, you can see that I'm staying nice and tall, but I'm not leaning to the front. And here you can see that my leg is staying in line with the other leg, so I'm not flinging my leg out. Hi. What? Oh, goodness. Should I get you your stool? Two more, last one, and then we're gonna turn around, but we're gonna get this girl her stool so that she can be right in the thick of everything. Here, come get on the stool. So turning around, we're gonna do the opposite leg.
You see your tail? Hi. One more. Oh my gosh. Then we're going to face the wall and we're going to do a rear leg lift. So you're going to lift your leg straight back. So squeezing the glute. And then we'll switch legs. Where'd it go? One more. And then we'll face the wall. We'll step back, hinging at the hip for a nice low back stretch. It amazes me how often a kitty can still be tricked by their own tail. All right, we are going to go into a seated position. So get yourself a chair. I'm going to be using my stool. Just get another quick drink here. My throat's very dry this morning. So we'll back this up. Why don't you come up on here? So sitting nice and tall, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Legs are at 90 degrees or less. We're going to open and close. It's like a big book. One more, and then elbows come in, we open and close. Two more. Last one. Hi. Well, if you're going to move, I'm going to move. So I'm back in the light. Oh my gosh. I was not ready for that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Feet are together. You're going to open up your toes, heels go until you can't go any further, which is not very far for me. Bring it back in. So we open up and bring it back in. This cat's ridiculous. And the next time you come in, go ahead and stay there and we'll tap our toes. Rosie, I can't hold you forever here. Can I put you on that window seat? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> All right, a little bit of space between your feet. You're gonna bring your hands to the outside of your knees. You're gonna lift up the inside of your shoes without letting your knees move. One more, fists between your knees, maybe a little bit more space between your feet, lifting up the outside of your shoes. One more, and then we're gonna lift one foot. 
ankle circles. And other direction. And then we're gonna flex the foot and point to toes. Flex and point. And then just let the foot relax and we're gonna turn the whole leg. So think about turning from the knee, you're turning from the hip, but if you think about turning the kneecap, usually that will do it. So my knee's here, then it's out to the side. Four, three, two, one, and we'll lift the other foot, flex and point. I don't know if you can see this great big white puff of fur that's on my leg now. I have no idea where that could have come from. Ankle circle. And the other way. And then let the foot relax, kneecap turns out to the side and up. Just really important that you're not just moving at the ankle. We wanna move that whole leg. Right, Rose? Two more. And then bring the foot down. We're gonna bring our hands onto our thighs and we're gonna press down and we're gonna round up. It's a little seated cat and cow. Oh my gosh, look, there's one of those flies. Get off of there. At least you know I'm not lying. <laughs> Two more of all the things in the entire house. And it's going right back for that camera. Oh my goodness. The camera lens is like teeny tiny of all the things in here to land on. Anyway, we're going to sit up nice and tall. We're going to stand up and we're gonna sit down, pressing evenly through both feet. Two more. Last one. And relax. Okay. We are going to start on some range of motion exercises. So we're going to start just with some shoulder rolls. Getting caught up in my cord here. So you'll notice I always do my shoulder rolls backwards because I want to open up. So we're going to add in our elbows. We're going to open up because when we do them forward, look how I'm closing and we're, we are naturally closed off. So we want to open. So that's why I always do them that direction. One more. And then we're gonna reach our fingertips back, continuing to open through the chest, relax those shoulders, relax your jaw. And relax. So we're gonna lower one ear towards the shoulder. We're gonna start at the top of the head, work our way down. Slowly lift into the other side. And 
And lift your head, drop your chin towards your chest. Gently lift, ear towards the shoulder, slowly down towards the chest, to the opposite shoulder, and then gently back. Slowly lift. We're going to turn to look over one shoulder just with the head. Slowly back to the front and to the other side. Gently back to the front, this time turning a whole trunk. Hi. Slowly back to the front and to the other side. And slowly back. Hi. I know it's hard when you can't be the center of attention. And we're going to come into a shoulder stretch. And we'll reach back. And we'll switch sides. Easy. And reach back. I'm going to reach up and slightly over. Nice side body stretch. And to the other side. Slowly lift, one hand behind your back, other on the head, lowering your nose towards your underarm. Slowly lift and to the other side. Rose, I'm sure you guys can't hear her, but she is just meowing constantly. And I don't know what her problem is. We'll slowly lift. And then we're going to extend one leg. Opposite foot goes on the laces. We're going to draw the knee up and down. And then we're going to cross the ankle over the shin, maybe lifting above the knee or bending the knee. We're just going to hang out here, stretching through the hip. You stay right there. I'm going to pop over here just for a second. Oh, you were going to steal my chair. Hi. There's no room for you on my lap right now.
Yeah, so why don't you go up there? All right, let's switch legs. So extending the opposite leg, heel on the laces, sing up and down. No, pose. Crossing your ankle over the shin, over the knee, or bending the knee. Here, I'll move a little bit closer. Fine. <laughs> She's decided the window is more exciting. So if you're not feeling too much of a stretch and you want to go a little bit deeper, you can hinge forward a little bit. Just be careful because this can be pretty intense. And then we're going to come back up, bring the leg down. I'm going to turn to the side just because I think it gives a bit better view. You're going to extend one leg, same arm reaches out. You're going to reach forward until you feel a stretch along the back of the leg. And then you're just going to relax the foot down, or the hand down rather. Make sure you're keeping a bend in the knee, lifting those toes. Let's come on up, let's switch sides. So extend the leg, little bend in the knee, same arm reaches out, and then relaxing the arm down. And then we're slowly going to stand up. We're going to come into our quadricep stretch. Stretch. We're going to grab onto our ankle, pant leg, sock, shoelace, whatever you can get back there. If you can't get a hold of anything, try to instead put your foot on the seat of your chair. This is a little bit high, but most of you will be using a proper chair, not a high stool. And then we'll switch sides. So same thing, getting whatever you can back there or putting your foot on the chair itself. The bend in the standing leg. And then we're going to step back into a calf stretch. I might sneeze. And we'll switch legs. And then slowly step in. I'm going to move my chair a little bit closer. We're going to do our finger dexterity exercises. Oh, I want to keep my head in the frame. So fingers and thumbs, trying to make roundish circles. Hi, Clara. Same thing, but with straight fingers. And then wrist circles. Yeah. 
And then bringing your palms together, lowering your hands just as far as you can, keeping the whole palm together. And then bringing the back of the hands together, lifting up just as high as you can without the hands peeling apart. Bring the arms down, some wrist circles. And other direction. Claire is sitting right next to the camera. Hi. All right, and then let's just do those neck stretches one more time. Maybe you're like me and slept on the wrong pillow, or rather, I slept on two pillows by mistake. Now my neck's a little bit cranky. And then if you have some music going, you may want to turn it off or just turn it on to some music that's a little less peppy. <laughs> and we're going to do a few minutes of deep breathing. So, or breathing, if deep breathing seems a little bit too much. So go ahead and close your eyes or just look down towards the floor. And start to take your breath into your mind's eye, noticing your inhale and your exhale. Not worrying about changing it, just paying attention and noticing it. Remembering that our breath is something that happens automatically, that most of the time we don't have to think about it, but under times of stress, Sometimes we can find ourselves holding our breath. And if we just stop and think about our inhale and our exhale, we'll notice that it starts to flow more naturally again. And then just noticing where you feel that breath in your body. Do you feel your chest rise? Or maybe it's your ribs that you feel. Maybe it's your belly. Maybe you just notice the air entering your nostrils and exiting. Again, not judging, just noticing. And then moving your attention from your breath to your body. Where are all the places you can feel your body connected to the floor, to the earth? If you're in a seated position, maybe you feel your upper back along the back of your chair, your hips, your glutes seated on the chair, maybe your feet are on the floor. Just noticing all those points of contact and noticing how you can depend on the chair to support you. You can relax the muscles in your legs, the muscles in your glutes. You don't have to hold tension because you know that the chair and the floor has you. You're fully supported. Then taking your attention back to your body and more specifically to your head, noticing all of your facial muscles actively releasing tension through your forehead, your eyelids, the space between your eyes, your cheeks, your lips, tongue, jaw. With every exhale, feeling yourself soften just a little bit more. 
Inhaling, and as you exhale, now feeling your shoulders falling a little bit further away from the ears. Continuing down your arms, feeling the muscles of your upper arm, forearm, wrists, hands, and fingers, gently relaxing. Continuing down our torso, our abdomen, hips, pelvis. Taking a moment to really breathe in to the lower part of our trunk where tension often is held for long periods of time. Not trying to really change anything. Just as you inhale, visualize that oxygen being delivered through to your pelvis. Then continuing down your legs, knees, calves, ankles, feet, and toes. Just noticing how you feel now compared to when we first sat down or maybe when we first started class. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more limber. Remember there's no right or wrong answer here, just noticing. Let's take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, letting our eyes open or refocus in the room. Taking another deep breath in, reaching our arms up overhead. Exhaling, hands come down together. Again, inhaling up. And exhaling. One more time. That is it. We are finished for today. Like I said at the beginning of class, I am not going to be posting anything for the rest of the day in support of the Blackout Tuesday. So I hope that you will take some time to read, listen, watch different articles and find out how we can better support our friends of color. And I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday. Thanks so much for tuning in and I will see you next week or on Friday. Bye.